After about 200 days of creating Protector of Hammerdale, I realized I made some big mistakes. They were all connected to images and I lost a lot of hours. In my 2D top-down game, you need to know if an image goes in the front of the character or the back of the character. My solution was to always show the character in front of everything. Unless they entered this trigger that pushed them below the image. Sounds fine, right? Well, here's the problem. If I put my character behind this lovely tree, it works great. But if I add another tree behind it, I've accidentally broke the laws of reality. So I added another sorting layer. And then another one. And every layer takes more time to add. And suddenly I was drowning in layers just to place a few trees. My solution? Never put more than two things close to each other. Yeah, not great. But then I discovered sorting by Y position. Took a while to figure out, but oh my lord, it made everything so much easier. Before I had to force myself not to place things too close to each other, but now I can fill the screen with images and the engine just knows what should be where. Made me understand how William Wallace feels. And talking about doing things the wrong way, the tile map, this beautiful background you've been looking at. After spending a lot of time creating a background, I realized there are a few different ways to do it. My first tile map pack combined the mud and the grass. The second one had just grass. Like a pizza without topping, what am I supposed to do with that? Um, sorry. But the promo pictures, they looked great, so what am I missing? I focused all my brain power and understood everything. The origins of life, the universe and how tile maps work. Layers exist. I put my background in the first layer. If I want grass around it, I place it on the second layer. And like magic, I now have mud in the middle and grass around it. I can even change the grass if I want. And together with rule tiles, this is faster than ever. What are rule tiles, you say? Well, I am happy that you asked. It's this amazing magical thing that will put the right tiles in the right place and I love them. All you have to do is configure it like this and it works. Could I have saved time by finding out how to sort images and use rule tiles sooner? Yes. But like so many things in life, if you never risk doing things the wrong way, you might never discover the better way. Instead, you might end up doing nothing at all and live to regret it. And that was the end of this devlog where I talked about the struggles of images and how I solved it. I look forward to reading your comments. Did you know about the magic of tile maps and rule tiles? Have you ever struggled to do something that you wanted? The next devlog will be about cards and combat. Do not miss it! Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and join the discord.